Hey, Tom Van Pope here. Hope you've been well. Welcome to episode two of my trip to Lake Tahoe. In the previous episode, I picked up my 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road at SFO, drove to Lake Tahoe and checked into my cabin. Today, we'll be exploring the southwestern part of the lake, starting off in Tahoe City. We'll drive south and hike up Eagle Rock, We'll pay a brief visit to Sugar Pine Point Campground and check out the state park and mansion where we stop for lunch. Then we'll continue down to Emerald Bay State Park where we hike and bring out the snowshoes to check out Eagle Falls and Eagle Lake, ending the day with a dinner in Heavenly Village close to the state line. Let's go! Before I get started, be sure to check out the Drive Your Dreams official t-shirt and sticker. This is my first official Tom Van Pope merchandise, proudly featuring the 120 series Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Support the channel, head over to the Tom Van Pope shop and order your t-shirt and sticker on vanpope.com. sound of some knocking on the door and uh, the sun shining straight into the room which is so nice yeah the knocking on the door was uh, the breakfast so breakfast is uh, delivered to your room here at uh, the cottage inn pastry yogurt fruit some egg orange juice there's a coffee maker here in the room so I'm gonna have some breakfast then uh, head off to the trails during this trip, I'm driving a 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road four-wheel drive pickup truck. Mine is a double cab short bed with a 3.5 liter gasoline V6 engine and a six-speed automatic transmission. All right, back in the Tacoma. Let's uh, see if we can uh, find some gorgeous vistas of Lake Tahoe. Let's go. Right, first trail of the day, Eagle Rock. So there's still some ice on this trail or very packed snow. Oh, at the top. So beautiful. I'm up here on Eagle Rock, made it to the top. It's pretty cool, amazing view. Beautiful day. And uh, yeah, it's a nice, uh, I would say 15 minute hike. Interesting thing is uh, there's a lot of snow still, especially in the last, uh, I don't know, 200 meters up. And there's some really deep pockets of uh, emptiness beneath the snow so you have to be really careful not to fall through one guy fell through I tried to help him up and he got really seriously stuck so I actually should have brought my uh, snowshoes up here because you get a lot more uh, weight distribution obviously and uh, yeah so next hike I'm definitely gonna strap my uh, snowshoes to my backpack even though at the trailhead it looks good as you go higher up better be prepared Right, I'm gonna leave you guys with some vista of uh, Lake Tahoe from Eagle Rock. So I did remember to pack one thing actually. I didn't get my uh, snowshoes with me, but I got these. These are traction devices and I'm definitely gonna equip them now because uh, I've seen people slipping and sliding their way down this, uh, this rock. So, uh, yep, gonna put these on, 
make my way down Eagle Rock. So this is what they look like, made out of uh, silicon, very sturdy silicon, and uh, you basically put them around your shoes like this. And, uh, obviously they have these studs on the bottom. These things are such a lifesaver. Oh my god. I've literally seen blood in the snow like 50 meters up for someone. You know, it's rocks sticking out. So uh, yeah, get yourself some Exo Spikes or similar brand and uh, hopefully get down the mountain safely. Originally, I had actually planned to uh, camp here in uh, the Lake Tahoe area, uh, specifically at a campsite called uh, Sugar Pine Point. I've been uh, prepping a lot, trying to figure out what's the current like weather, um, what's the situation at the camp, is it open? A lot of campsites are closed, there have been fires. And uh, well, Sugar Pine was actually listed as a very high bear activity. Yeah, you can't even grill a steak. I'm gonna do that another time, definitely, because I love camping. I couldn't resist just to drive around and stop by here to see um, what, the, what the campsite actually looks like. And it looks really nice. It's open, lots of beautiful spots. It um, feels more wild than most campsites in Europe do, which uh, I love. I love this more. Uh, there's squirrels around. I haven't seen a bear yet, even though driving into the campsite, there was a sign talking about bear sightings. Three today, one damage. Bringing a dog might be nice. This park is beautiful. These pine cones are everywhere and they're absolutely massive. Wow, beautiful. Sugar Pine Point. <laughs> Absolutely enormous. Wow, this is huge. Crazy, beautiful. So nice and quiet here and just really beautiful. Wow, Pine Lodge. What a dream property. Looking out over the lake. And it was time for lunch. This is General Creek, one of 62 streams that feeds into Lake Tahoe. That was a really nice uh, walk, hike here uh, along the shoreline and through the forest of Sugar Pine Park. Let's have my lunch and uh, now it's off to Eagle Falls. It's a slightly more popular trail apparently. So I'm gonna see uh, if I'm able to find a parking spot there and make my way up Eagle Falls Trail.
dangerous people here. This is a 55 road. Oh my god. This more just coming into Eagle. It's gonna be tricky. Find the parking spots. Success. Found the parking spot. <laughs> Crazy. Such a popular spot. Remember that. I mean, this is Emerald Bay. It's one of the most popular uh, attractions of uh, the west southern part of Lake Tahoe. I saw a uh, very, very snowy trail had. Like, I had to turn around because I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't enter the the parking parking side on the right side of the road, so I had to turn around. And where I turned around was another trailhead, and uh, Liberty Trail or something like that. I'm not sure. So much snow. So I'm thinking of grabbing my snow shoes. Uh, I'm up for some adventure and uh, want to test out the snowshoes as well. Let's try that out and hit uh, the trail of uh, Eagle Falls. All right, parked the truck right there, and uh, now off to uh, Trailhead. Let's do this Emerald Bay, Eagle Falls. Right out here on the trail. Yeah, maybe it's time to bring out those uh, spikes again. Let's see, I'm gonna try for a few minutes and then if it's a lot more icy, then I definitely will take out those uh, traction devices. Beautiful so far. Got the snowshoes on, started uh, the snowy part of this trail and uh, yeah without snowshoes this wouldn't have been possible because it's pretty dangerous actually. The, the hole there is incredibly deep and then you have spikes like that sticking out and they're also under the snow. Whew. So um, glad I got these guys on to uh, hopefully prevent me from uh, falling through the snow and uh, one thing that I didn't bring though which I should have are uh, walking sticks all right about halfway up to the lake and uh, wow what a beautiful hike just taking a taking a breather and uh, yeah sights like this came across uh, some other hikers, one other guy wearing snowshoes, he, uh, he was going just like me at a really rapid pace. If you don't have snowshoes, yeah, you'll fall in those holes and yeah, your pace is going to be a lot slower. Whew. All right, let's head up to the lake. Okay, took the snowshoes off because it's like a mix between rocks and uh, snow here. Often a little bit too much 
rock so I don't want to damage these guys so yeah should be another five minutes up to the lake guess what I made it up to Eagle Lake is completely frozen and uh, you can see where the ice starts to melt and turn into uh, the river the stream that feeds into the uh, lake Definitely, definitely worth it. Wow. <laughs> what a view. Look at this amazing spot. And if you look there in the distance, there's even two people camping. A little green and orange tent. Really cool spot to go camping. So yeah, I uh, actually ran out of water, so that's not too great. I'm gonna make my way down the mountain. Go check out uh, the southern part of Lake Tahoe. I've read that there are some amazing breweries there. Uh, one place that has like, I don't know, 60 beers on tap. Wow, that's a, it's a proper, proper brew house. So uh, maybe I'll have a water first and then a couple of draft beers. Right now it's quarter to five. I think it's gonna take me about 45 minutes to get down. So let's do this. So, made it to the flat part of the trail, the one with the, the steps and the, the benches. <laughs> it's another, I guess, 10 minutes down or so. 25 past five. just arrived in a place called Heavenly Village uh, it's uh, by the Heavenly Ski Resort I was told that they have really good pizza here so uh, that's what I'm gonna check out got myself a bottle of water hydrated so um, yeah let's check out this uh, little uh, commercial area <laughs> Give me one reason to stay here And I'll turn my back around Oh, the sun is shining That wraps up day two. Thanks for coming along and see you next time for more scenic drives, adventures and good times around Lake Tahoe.